Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is Emily I do beauty content here on YouTube and I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday as you see from the title today I have a full face of K Beauty um, I've ordered two orders from one order from from a site called Style Vana and one order from Yes Style uh, <clears throat> and the reason I did that was because uh, Style, Style Vana is based I thought it was based in the Netherlands but I can be wrong but I didn't have to pay customs uh, but when I order from Yes Style I do have to pay customs but some products were out on the Style Vana website but anyway I have everything here I have blushes powder eyeshadow, primer, BB cream, highlight, concealer, more blushes. Um, I even have a brush set that I'm going to use. So if you want to see a full face of K Beauty then just please keep on watching. I'm zooming you in a bit. I only have SPF on my face um, and that's it. I'm actually going to use my regular base eye base um, that is the Louise base so I'm just going to apply this and then I'll be right back. I have just blended that out with a sponge. Um, I have this. This is the ROM and ND eyeshadow quad in number 3. Is it called Dry Ragrus? Yeah, dry ragrus. And it's this kind of brownie tones with a, a glitter. So I'm going to use that. I also have this Sugar Twinkle liquid eyeshadow from Para Para um, in Lady Coral, which is a corally glitter thing that I'm also going to use. Um, let's see if we can find some brushes in this kit. Um, <clears throat> I got both face brushes and eye brushes. That's a packing brush. Hmm. I know you are supposed to wash brushes before you use them, but... So I have one kind of like a fluffy brush and one more a bit denser brush. So I'm going to start out with the fluffy one and I'm going to start out with the darker brown shade in my outer corners. Just need to get over, take away the creases. This brush is really, really soft. So I really wanted to do this video um, because one girl that I watch, Geek Out of Water, I think it's her channel is called, she did a review on a um, BB cream from Purito. Uh, and uh, when, I was, when I saw that, I got um, suggestion, suggestions uh, on videos I might like and then I saw that people have done these kind of videos and then I ordered this and then actually when I had ordered them I saw that one of my favorite um, floating in dreams did this uh, full face of K-beauty so I had to watch her uh, if I remember I can link her down below This actually blends out pretty good. Mm, let me see. Do I have? Okay, I have this small, really, really small brush. I'm just going to take that lighter match it and blend that in I 
I have ordered um, skincare from YesStyle before. Uh, as I say, as I said, you need to pay customs. Um, I'm just going to reuse that first brush. I'm just going to wipe it off. You need to pay customs, uh, and it was the first time me ordering from Stylevana. Um, I think Stylevana took two weeks to come here or something, and then YesStyle took three weeks, I think. Or maybe it was three weeks uh, for both of them. Sorry, I can't remember. Okay, so this has blended pretty good. I'm just going, taking that darker shade again and adding a bit more. If I'm a bit off, I'm sorry, I'm feeling a bit um, nauseous and it's super warm here today. Okay. Um, taking that denser large brush, I'm going to take the shimmer in the palette. I want to see how that looks. I'm going to apply the other shade on top. And I'm just pressing that. Oh, this has a... You cannot see that, but it, it has a green shift to it, or like green flakies. I usually do my eyes before my base, so that's why I'm doing it now. It's quite light in here, I'm sorry. Um, but this looks really pretty. Um, Yes, then I'm going to take that twinkle, sugar twinkle thing and um, I'm actually going to use the same brush. So I'm just going to take some on my hand. I have swatched this, but can you see that? And then just taking the brush and then just applying this. I hope you can see this because this is super reflective and glittery and just so pretty. Taking a bit more. Okay, so I regret not buying more of these. Uh, I don't need more eyeshadows per se, but. I can always use this, but I will probably make another order because I'm soon out of my uh, cleansing oil and uh, I did really enjoy the one that I'm using, which was from Perido that I bought on Yes Style. So I am probably going to repurchase and then I might add some of this. It's starting to dry down, and that's good. Just want a bit more. That's a winner. Uh, I'm going to take that dark shade, the darker brown shade, uh, and just mm. no harsh to make no harsh lights. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, just wiping away some of the fallout. Which was not much at all. Yes, then for primers, I actually have two. I have the Face Shop Air Cotton Makeup Base in number one mint, which is supposed to cancel out redness, I think. Um, it has SPF 30, and then I have this Innis Free Pore Blur Primer. So, I don't know what do I want to use. Let's uh, try the green one. Uh, 
And I'm just going to apply that to half of my face to begin with. Just to see. Mm, it has a little bit of fragrance to it. It did actually cancel out some of the redness. I'm going to take it on the other side as well. And I will save the pore primer for another time. This kind of feels like it filled in my pores a little bit. My base is now pretty sticky and I'm still red here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a wipe. Um, then for foundation, I actually have two and I've already tried one of them, so I'm thinking about trying the other one now. Um, I have this Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream in the shade number 21 Light Beige, and this one I've tried. Um, it looks like this, it comes out kind of grey. And then I have the Magic Cushing Love Cover Lasting number 21 from Misa, Miss, Misha, that I have not tried. Uh, and this looks like this. Um, I don't know if this is going to be too dark, but let's try it. I'm going to use the thing that it came with. And just mm, yes, this is too dark. Or like too yellow. I don't know if you can see this, but and I do not like the applicator. So I'm Switching it up to my sponge. Mm. It has a nice coverage and a nice finish. It's obviously the wrong shade. It's too... It's too yellow. Um, it's not too dark though, but it's... Kind of yellow. Once that is blended, um, it actually looks okay. Um, I have a concealer. This is from Same. Say Siam. It's spelled like that. This is the mineralizing creamy concealer. Concealer in 0.5 snow. This contains SPS, SPF as well. I wonder if the foundation did that. Yes, the foundation has SPF 50, which you don't use, uh, which you don't need because you always need to have another SPF. Um, let's see how this is. The other one is so tacky, the cushion foundation. I'm just going to apply some kind of lighten it up and then this also has a scent to it and then I'm just going to blend that up with my sponge I tried the Purito BB cream and I did actually like that so I have high hopes for this as well because this has I have heard people talk about it. The concealer seems pretty good. It was quite easy to blend. Again, it's a bit like yellow. But maybe Asian people have more yellow undertones. I don't know. But that did actually brighten my underwears up a bit. I'm sorry, the light is kind of weird hmm, it looks pretty okay then I have this from I'm Mem 
it's a multi-stick shading in 001 bronzer and I thought that we could use this as a bronzer today. It's a bronzer stick that just looks like this. So I'm going to apply this and then I'm going to take a brush to try to blend it out. Then it can replace my milk makeup one because my milk makeup one is um, kind of old. I'm taking this brush and try to blend and hope it doesn't remove the things underneath. I might have taken too much, but that's fine. Yeah, I have definitely taken too much. But it blended out pretty good with the brush. I'm just going to go over it with my damp sponge. It's not the worst that I've looked. It still is extremely tacky. Which I'm not sure of, but... That blended out pretty good. Well, I almost look natural. Then I have... A blushes and I have let's see where did it go I have this a chilled house a lovely cookie blushers in honey honey something and la lavender lemon macaroon and this is a cool tone so I'm not going to use that and this is a bit more warm tone. I've actually tried this and it looks absolutely stunning. Then I have this Holika Holika right? Jelly blusher in the shade Grapefruit Jelly. And this is, uh, it looks like this and it's more of a like putty thing. Uh, I've swatched it and it looks stunning. And then I have this Juicy and Pang. Uh, blusher in uh, Juicy Pan Water Blusher in Strawberry and um, I think I want to use this it looks like this and let's see if I can let's see if I can apply this directly onto my face using this let's take one side at a time and try with my finger. I don't know. It actually looks like watercolor. I love that. Um, let's see. Uh, again, I'm just going to take my damp sponge. Yes, this looks like watercolor. Extremely pretty. Um, let's be a bit extra and take some of the Holika Holika one as well. to add some more like coral now I definitely have a lot of blush but it is production okay, I think on camera it looks pretty good uh, in real life I look a little bit like warm more warm tone than I'm used to but because the concealer looks really nice it has settled into my fine lines but I haven't set it yet but I'm going to do that. And that is actually my next step. 
This is the Airy Pot, the newest innovation of powder from Misha. Um, in translucent. Comes with a puff. Okay, so this is super smart. It has a lid that you can. I'm just going to pour some in in the lid, and then let's take. Let's take this brush and take some powder and put it under my eyes. Whoa, that was really blurring and darkening, which is weird because it's a translucent one. I had to change the battery, so if I'm in a different angle, I'm sorry. Um, I'm taking a larger brush and I just want to powder a little bit because I'm all tacky, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I think about this powder because I really don't like these kind of finely milled powders. They fly everywhere and if we don't look at the color selection, like I'm a bit more warm tone than I'm used to, my skin looks absolutely flawless. It looks like I have no no like um then you can just close it. That's really smart. I really like that. I'm going to have to play with this a little bit more. What was I saying? It looks like I have no imperfections at all. And I did really enjoy this brush. The brush is, a, is really good so far. Um, let's do the eyebrows because I, I think I look a bit weird without them. Um, I have... Let me see... The Drawing Eyebrow Slim from Etude House, and I have this in red brown, and it's a slim pencil, so I'm just going to use the spoolie and kind of work through my brows a bit, and then let's see how this is. This was really cheap. It's definitely my color. It's a warm toned, warm toned brown. This pencil was a bit like not hard, but it's not like as soft as say the ABH one or the NYX one. But on the other hand, it don't move that easily. Um, it's a bit dark actually, but it's the right color, I think. I would definitely use this up. When I swatch it, it's a bit more lighter, but my natural brows are like cool toned. Yeah, um, I like this. I'm going to take, let me see if I have something for that. Yes, I have this eye pencil that is flat and um, small and I'm going to take the darker brown eyeshadow shade and just press that along my lower lash line. The blush I could definitely use more blush you know me. Then I'm actually going to go into that lighter brown shade with that fluffy brush and then just Blend a little bit on, like on top. That's that. Then going into, I wonder if this brush is right. Or do I have another small one? 
Oh, I'm actually going to take this big brush and I'm going to take this. This is the Misha Etel Prism in the shade Touch of Light. This is a gorgeous highlighter that I've already tried. It looks like this. So I'm going to take that on this brush, brush and see how it applies. Um, not at all. Great. <laughs> then let's use my regular brush. Am I getting something with it? Oh, here we go. It, it is this beautiful, like, goldy highlight. But I can't get over how nice my skin looks. It is the wrong, like, undertone. It's a little bit like warmer. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can tell. But it's not that bad. Gorgeous. Then I'm going to take. I'm going to take this this brush and just take some of that lovely cookie blusher in honey something and maybe this is too dense just add some more blush because I am the blush queen and I need more absolutely stunning and once again, my skin looks flawless. Yes, I don't have any setting spray, as I said, but I have lips and mascara left. Um, but let's, I'm just going to set my face with my Ofra makeup fixer. And while I'm waiting on that to dry, um, I'm actually going to take this little brush and take that highlight as my inner corner highlight as well. Yes, um, I have a mascara from, mm -hmm. it's called Moni. Moni. Extreme Long Lash Potent Cara. Uh, I've not tried this. Let's see how this works. I just open it to look at the wound. Pretty good, it actually separates my lashes a bit. It's McQueen New York Extreme Long Lash Potent Cara. Is it a fiber mascara? I don't know, I've never used a fiber mascara. So how would I know? Okay, let me just apply this and I, I'll be right back. I went ahead and applied my lipstick. I have this matte, me tender matte to go lipstick from Meme Box. I'm Meme, it's called that. Smooth matte, emotional color and portable in the shade Atomatic. It's just a matte kind of red, red lipstick. Um. Yeah, so let's zoom you in a little bit. Okay. 
Can you see my skin? It looks kind of flawless. Ah, uh, it was a fiber mascara. Because I think I got some in my eye. But yeah, I think that this... Okay, my hair is... I can't be bothered with my hair. Um, but I do I love this look. It's a shame that it's a bit too like warm toned for me. Um, but yeah, the bronzer stick I loved. The blushes I loved. Um, I actually think the powder looks really good. And the primer, hmm, I think it was good. Um, the foundation, I think, looks good. But as I said, it's a bit too warm toned for me. The, the brushes, however, I'm really pleased with. And um, yeah, the blushes, as, as I said, and then this twinkle thing. I think I'm happy with everything. And I, I'm going to continue trying to use this. And maybe they will be in an upcoming um, favorites. I know that the, this will be in an upcoming haul. Uh, but anyway, um, if you have any suggestions on K-Beauty products that you love, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I love blushes, as you know, so that's why I bought three, four. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite K-Beauty products are. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like. I would love to have you here. And until I make another one, you guys, please take care. Bye!